Hey guys, Robot Gabby here with another great tutorial. Today we will be discussing what a robot is, school robotics clubs, RVW, and Robot C. So, what is a robot? Robots are all around us in our everyday lives and can be big or small. A robot can be a smartphone or a giant secret drone flying in the sky. A robot is able to be like a human based on its programmed code, like turning on its motor so it can walk or, turning, or moving its arm so it can turn a light switch on and off. A robot needs to have these three things, a brain, sensors, and power. When you combine these three things together, you get a robotic platform. Just like my middle school, there are many schools around our country that have robotics clubs. Each school has to choose their robotic platform. The most popular robotic platforms are Lego and Vex. My middle school uses Vex IQ robot, robotic platform. I will not be going into too much detail about robotic platforms, but you guys are certainly welcome to research that on your own. Most schools don't have a lot of robots, so not everyone gets to have their own robot. That's because they're ex kind of expensive. Over the summer, I wanted to work with my own robot, but I couldn't because I didn't have one and I stole it. So I found this great simulation software called Robot Virtual Worlds. If you don't know what a simulation software is, it's basically programming a 3D robot to do what it would do in real life. RVW is short for Robot Virtual Worlds. It's great for people like me who don't have their own physical robot and they have their own 3D environment for, rob for VEX IQ robots. So let's get started with installing the RVW software. To start off, make sure that you have your parents' permission to get on the computer and type in robotvirtualworlds.com. When you get to the site, this is what the Robot Virtual Worlds site looks like. Robot Virtual Worlds is not free, but you can do a free trial, which is great for people who are just learning how to code, and you can decide whether or not you like it or not. So let's get started by clicking on Free Trial. Once you click on Free Trial, Robot Virtual Worlds has a nice step-by-step -step to show you how to download their software correctly. Step 1 shows you the minimum requirements that you need to download Robot Virtual Worlds onto your computer. Once you have determined that you're able to install the software, click Next. Step 2 asks you if you have already installed Robot C on your computer. I already have Robot C installed on my computer, but we will click the option that says that I do not have Robot C installed so I can show you the next step. Step 2A lets you choose which Robot Virtual World software you want to use based on your robotic platform. As I mentioned earlier, I will be using VEX, so you will want to download Robot Virtual World software for VEX. Once you click download, the RVW software will start to download and it may take a while. Once the download is finished, go ahead and install the RVW software. Now click next. In step three, you should already have RVW installed. First thing you should do is open Robot C from the icon on your desktop or start menu, click Robot in the menu, and set the compiler target to Virtual Worlds. Now click Next. If you're having any issues, feel free to click the Watch Video button. In step four, I think I've found a bug in your website. So before we do anything, you need to click on Previous Step. Back in this step, we need to add our trial license. So please follow these steps so you can add your trial license. And click Next. Now in step 4, we are going to run a sample program. Click File in the menu and choose Open Sample Program. Navigate to the Virtual World's Basic Movement folder. Choose the Moving Forward Sample Program. Click Robot in the menu and select Compile and Download Program. The Robot Virtual World's window will, op will open to allow you to run your program in your previously selected Virtual World. If you're having trouble, click on the Watch Video button. Once you compile and download your sample program, your Robot Virtual World will open up and ask you to sign in to your CS2N account. 
If you don't have a CS2N account, you can create your own, or you can log in locally. I have a CS2N account, so I'm going to log in this way. But don't worry, because I will be talking about CS2N in another tutorial. Once you have logged in, click on Moving Forward under the Basic Movements. Now click Start Challenge. So this is basically what the robot virtual world looks like. I'll tell you what our robot is and what all the buttons mean in the next tutorial, but for now, just click the play button. Yay, we did it! So now, let's exit out. Now let's go back to the RVW website and click next to go to the next step. In step five, we have basically already done that, so click next. In step six, it tells you what all the buttons mean, but I'll tell you more about the buttons in my next tutorial video, so click next. RVW is now installed. Yay, we made it through all the steps. So that's it, it's that simple. Now you've installed RVW. In my next tutorial, I'll, I will show you how to use RVW to program a VEX IQ robot using the Robot C programming language. See you later, bye.